In the previous lecture, I explained the common base configuration of transistor. Now I will explain the early effect, the early effect and by using this, we will plot the input characteristics of common base transistor. The input characteristics is simply the characteristics of forward biased diode. It is the characteristics of the forward biased diode. I will explain this point. It is the graphical relation between the input current and the input voltage for different values of output voltage. It is the graphical relation between the input current and the input voltage, input voltage for different, for different output voltages. This is what we have in input characteristics of common base transistor. This is the common base configuration of the transistor. I am using NPN transistor. This is emitter, this is base and this is collector and we already know in case of NPN transistor this is the direction of emitter current IE, this is the direction of base current IB and this is the direction of collector current IC. I am considering the active mode of operation so junction J1 is forward biased and junction J2 is reverse biased. This potential difference is equal to V B E and this potential difference is equal to V C B. I am calling this configuration common base configuration because base is common to the input side and the output side. On the input side the current is I E and the voltage is V B E. So the input current the input current is simply equal to I E the emitter current and the input voltage is equal to V B E the input voltage is equal to VBE on the output side the current is IC so the output current is equal to IC the collector current and VCB is the output voltage output voltage is VCB so we have to plot we have to plot the graphical relation between IE and VBE for different values of VCB now I will prove the input characteristics of common base transistor is similar to the characteristics of forward bias diode. I have already told you we can consider transistor as two diodes connected back to back. We have NPN transistor. So we have two diodes connected like this. This is NP, this is PN. So this is like NPN transistor. This is diode D1, this is diode D2. In active mode of operation, diode D1 is forward biased and diode D2 is reverse biased and we are plotting the input characteristics. Input characteristics is between the input current and the input voltage for different values of output voltage. The input current is IE, the input voltage is VBE which is the current and voltage through and across the diode D1. So we are simply plotting the forward biased characteristics of a diode. And it is very simple. We can easily plot the forward biased characteristics for a diode. This axis is for current that is IE in milliamps. The x-axis is for the voltage across the diode that is VBE and it is measured in volts and the forward characteristics will simply look like this. Let's say the barrier potential is equal to 0 0.7 volts because we are considering silicon as the semiconductor material. We are considering the silicon diode. So barrier potential is equal to 0 0.7 volts and this is the forward bias characteristics of a diode. And this is also the input characteristics of common base transistor. But the important thing is the effect on characteristics with change in VCB. Let's say this plot is for VCB equal to 1 volts and now we have to study the effect on characteristics when we increase or decrease the output voltage that is VCB. To understand this effect we first need to understand the early effect. We first need to study the early effect. The early effect very important concept in analog electronics. This effect is also known as base width modulation. This is also known as base width modulation and it is named after James M. Early, after James 
am early who discovered early effect in early effect there is modulation of base width when we increase the reverse bias voltage vcb when we increase the reverse bias voltage vcb there is modulation of base width this is emitter region this is base region and this is collector region junction j1 is forward biased junction j2 is reverse biased and in reverse bias condition width of depletion layer width of depletion layer increases and the depletion layer will penetrate more in the base region because it is lightly doped because of light doping hole concentration is low and easy uncovering of immobile ions will take place you can see penetration of depletion layer is more in base region and this is because base is lightly doped the depletion layer will have the negative immobile ions on the base side because we are considering an pn transistor and it will have positive immobile ions on the collector side because collector is n type material let's say let's say w b w sub b is width of base width of base or we can call it metallurgical base width the total width of base region is equal to w sub b w sub b and let's say the width of depletion layer penetrated in the base region is equal to w and the width of region with no depletion layer is equal to w effective from here we can see wb is equal to w effective w effective plus w so we can say that w effective is equal to wb minus w now if we increase vcb the output voltage or the reverse bias potential w will increase on increasing vcb on increasing vcb w will increase because penetration of depletion layer will increase in the base region and when w increases w effective will decrease w effective will decrease w effective is the width of region where recombination takes place this is the region where recombination takes place and width of this region is equal to w effective so when w effective decreases the chance of recombination in base region also decreases and this will increase the input current ie as the chance of recombination is reducing the ie will increase the base was thin and because of penetration of depletion layer it is now thinner so chance of recombination reduces and the input current ie increases the other reason is increase in concentration gradient the other reason is increase in concentration gradient because of decrement in w effective the concentration gradient is the main reason for the movement of charge carriers the electrons on the n side will move towards the base because of concentration gradient as the area is decreasing the concentration will definitely increase and because of this more electrons will flow towards the base and this will also increase the input current ie so we can say that on increasing vcb the output voltage on increasing vcb the output voltage the input current will increase so the final characteristics including the effect of vcb will look like this the current ie will increase with increase in vcb like this this plot is for vcb equal to 5 volts vcb equal to 5 volts and this plot is for vcb equal to 10 volts so with increase in vcb the input current ie will also increase and the remaining thing is similar to the forward bias characteristics of pn junction diode i hope everything explained in this lecture is clear to you i will end this lecture here see you in the next one